Here doing a quick demonstration on how to mod Star Wars Empire at War. Now I've seen a bunch of videos saying oh yeah it's real easy to mod say Fallout 3 or Super Mario Bros or what have you. Well truth is Star Wars Empire at War is really the easiest game to mod out there that I know of period. You don't need Win 7 or 7-Zip or whatever have you. All you need really is Windows Explorer and you need a 32-bit system of Windows. I'm not sure why you need a 32-bit system, but most mods support only 32-bit system of Windows. If you have 64-bit, you need to uh, find a mod that does support Win64 or get a 32-bit version of Windows. Now we are going to assume that you have the mod already downloaded. Now you can see here I've downloaded Absolute Corruption Mod 2.4 and so you're gonna open that up and you see here we have an uncompressed version. You can see here the downloaded file was compressed. And we open this up and we see ACM 2.4. This is what you want to copy. Don't cut it and uh, you want to go to your computer. Now the location for the mod folder is under local disk C. You want to scroll down to program files and again to LucasArts and then because this is a Forces of Corruption mod you want to go to your Star Wars Empire at War Forces of Corruption if you have a mod that does uh, that's a mod of Star Wars Empire at War regular then yeah, it's the same thing there. You open Forces of Corruption and if you have not done so uh, go to create new folder and main name that folder mods. And that's where you're going to put all your mods. You open that up and you simply paste the mod. Now I've already done so because I'm stupid like that. And if you want to say get a patch or something all you have to do is delete Say if I were to install Absolute Corruption Mod 2.5, which I'm not sure exists, then you're going to delete uh, 2.4 and do the same process only with 2.5. And don't worry, your saves won't be corrupted or missing. I've uninstalled the game multiple times and I still have my very first uh, uh, saves on there. So you don't need to worry about that, and that's really all there is to it. You can see, you, you don't need Win7 or 7-Zip, I've already said this. And while there are a couple other mods that are either easier to install or like Galaxies at War, much, much harder to install. Now if there is a uh, mod, say Thrawn's Revenge or Alliance, that have an installer with the folder then all you have to do is send it to again the address is computer local disk C program files LucasArts Star Wars Empire at War Forces of Corruption again if it's a mod for Empire at War not Forces of Corruption do the same thing there and then go to mods you don't need to delete any files you don't need to install a mod launcher except if you have uh, say uh, Alliance, you want to install Alliance, the mod launcher for them that uh, is pre-included does not work with Windows 7 no matter what version you have. You have to download Petrol Launcher 1.1. You can download that with a simple Google search really. And uh, oh that's really all there is to it. If you want to install say Galaxies at War you really need to know what you're doing this is a bitch to install but honestly it's it's really worth it now for some reason most mods don't work I'm not sure why I, I'm guessing it's just out of random I don't know why but yeah happy mod